Question number seven, you are told part A. Explain the role of river of the role of river in blood sugar regulation and you get three marks. So we say the river is uh, involved in sugar regulation because it secretes a hormone that converts excess glucose to uh, glycogen and fats and when there is a low level of blood, uh, blood glucose it produces, uh, it, it uh, secretes a, a hormone known as glucagon to convert uh, glycogen to glucose and fat so this is how you answer that question so we say when blood glucose level is high insulin hormone is produced hormone is produced by the pancreas by the pancreas by the pancreas uh, this stimulates the river this stimulates a liver cells to convert uh, to convert excess glucose uh, to glycogen and fat So that is when we have excess uh, high level of uh, glucose when blood sugar level when blood glucose is low uh, uh, glucagon hormone is secreted by pancreas by the pancreas pancreas uh, which simulates the liver cell the river cells to convert glycogen uh, glucogen uh, and fats back to to glucose so that is how the the river regulates uh, the blood sugar in the body so that's how you answer that you'll be able to get three marks so this is question number seven part b we are to describe how human blood is adapted to its functions uh, so in this question we will look at uh, the parts of the blood uh, we start with plasma uh, we have platelets we have white blood cells and finally the red blood cells will discuss uh, the functions of each or adaptation of each part of the blood uh, the question is 17 marks so let's start with plasma so plasma is a it this is a the fluid a part of blood part of blood consisting of uh, consisting of dissolved and undissolved and 
undissolved substances the plasma act as medium the plasma act as a medium uh, in various uh, substances substances are transported are transported in the body it act as medium as medium in which various metabolic reaction metabolic reactions reactions occur it plays a role of thermoregulation it plays the role of thermoregulation thermoregulation in the body uh, this is a uh, we can say uh, the more in the body And this is a body, i.e., it distributes heat. So that is the work of the plasma. Uh, then we have a look at uh, platelets. Platelets contain protein uh, they contain protein contain pro that help in blood clotting that help in blood clotting in blood clotting Preventing loss of bread, blood, preventing a loss of blood. It also prevent entry of pathogens. It also prevent entry of pathogens, germs. entry of uh, pathogens so that is the work of the platelets uh, so let's have a look at the white blood cells in another page so with the uh, we are through with the platelets so then the next part of the uh, blood is uh, are the white blood cells white uh, blood cells so we can say uh, they are irregular these are irregular irregular or you can you can use another word a more a more bit a more bit ship they protect the body against they protect the body against 
it protect the body against attack by pathogens uh, by pathogens uh, by engulfing them uh, them that is the pathogens um, and releasing antibodies antibodies releasing antibodies against the pathogens so that is the work of the white blood cells they protect the body against the attack uh, they are numerous they are numerous and they enhance enhance the body defense mechanism defense mechanism so those are the that is the work of the the white blood cells so from there we look at the red blood cells we have uh, red blood cells so the red, red blood cells uh the red blood cells they are by uh, they are by concave in shape to increase the surface area the surface area The surface area for diffusion of gases for diffusion of gases by diffusion of gases through blood capillaries uh, uh, through that is uh, gases or we can uh, through blood capillaries through blood capillaries they they lack nucleus they lack nucleus to allow for pack uh, to allow for packaging of that is a uh, to allow uh, for packaging for packaging of of more high uh, of packaging of more high grow high high more growing. Uh, the hemoglobin has high affinity has high affinity of oxygen of oxygen they are also numerous to increase the surface area uh, they are also numerous that is uh, uh, many uh, also numerous uh, 
uh, to increase the surface area to transport more oxygen. To increase uh, the surface area surface area to transport more oxygen area to transport more oxygen they have carbo uh, carbonic anhydrous enzyme they have carbonic Anhydrous enzyme for loading and offloading carbon dioxide for uh, loading and offloading. carbon dioxide CO2 carbon dioxide so that's how you answer that uh, the red blood cells are also a very important component of the blood uh, they are used to transport uh, oxygen uh, in the body and also removing of uh, carbon dioxide which is a waste so that's how you answer question number seven if you write uh, if you have the, if you put your words like so or try to explain the roles of the the, the red red blood cells white blood cells press rate and uh, the plasma then you should be able to get uh, 20, uh, 17 marks uh, this question has a total of 20 marks so that's how you do that question.